Yeah, lovely way to start off today's bypass. A very healthy pool on this public holiday as well and um, looked to be the right one. Bucket loads of money came for this uh, daughter of uh, Var. She's very quick and uh, the man to tell us a bit more is the pilot. Uh, well done, uh, Was Out the gates in a flash and uh, the rest was history. Yeah, look, she could only come on from her first run. She was very quick there, was very green there, which was expected. And she came out today with a bit more of knowledge of what was happening. She came out ready to run. And, you know, a lot of first times in the race, I had to bury them in the first 400 with my speed that I do, did have. So I let her use herself. And, you know, Mr. Peter did say, look, they have been plagued with the rains and she hasn't had a grass gallop. So I must just be wary of that. But um, she was going really well with me, you know, and she was... She, in front, she was looking at things. So I, I sent her, she gave me a good kick, and she was looking at things all the way down to the line. So it was a lovely win for me. Look, first time out was a creditable win because um, she was probably a, a half a length slow into stride and then had to build it up. But uh, today, uh, like you said, a lot more knowledgeable out the gates. And um, she out and out far for a long specialist? Yeah, for now, I think most definitely. You know, But um, the way she came out today, like a professional jump out and, and into, into top gear. So... She done it really well today. Look, I, I don't think going any further for now. While she's got the speed, keep it to the far furlong. But that's not my job. That's Mr. Peter's job. He, he'll we'll have we'll have a discussion, but uh, it's ultimately up to him. But um, yeah, look, it was a lovely win for me, full of merit. Well done, Mr. Leverton and everyone involved. You've had a lot of success uh, for Mr. Leverton. I know that's a real character, and um, he knows how to get the fast ones. Yeah, you know, it's well documented. He loves the fast the fast fillies, but um, yeah, look, very happy for him. He deserves success. He's been a long supporter of the racing industry, so he deserves all the winners he gets. Well done, Was. Thanks very much. Lovely stuff. Let's get Ian Leverton into the picture. Lovely to have you on course as always, sir, and uh, always good to uh, bring a few family members along. But um, we've touched on it time and time again, and um, you know how to find the fast ones, and there's obviously a bit of a history behind the source. Yeah, listen... Uh as I said the first time, we, we were told that she would probably, the possibility is that we should push her down. She's got a cleft palate and that she would never see the race course or anything. And Paulie just said to me, listen, Ian, let's give her a chance and see what happens. And we've done just that. And uh, touch wood, uh, at this stage, everything seems fine. And she's going on along the right way. And uh, we'll just wait to see where we go now. Paulie will have to decide where he wants to put her, or whether he wants to put her away or give her a chance or whatever, but it's up to Paulie. And um, you've obviously got a, a few nice ones coming through the ranks. I know that's unfortunately fly away during the course of the week, had a bit of an abscess on the mouth, but um, you've got a few nice horses in training. Well, I've got those two very nice fillies, and then I've got a couple of unraced babies as well, so we'll wait and see. And great to see that you brought some family members along today to lead this one in. Well, they told me they're coming along to make sure that I behave myself. And is that possible? No. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mr. Leverton. Great to have you on course as always. Good to have the family out here. And uh, well done to Paul Peter. I think he may be taking a few days break, but um, certainly deserved. And uh, you'll be very happy with the way things have opened up out here at Turfentine this afternoon. He's got the first two races. So is Warren Kennedy. He's leading the championship. And uh, I know he's got a few punter friendly out there that uh, will be screaming him home that have taken the prices uh, for him to win the jockey championship. So well done. Good start to open up the bar pot. Up next is the PA, and we're looking for a million rand plus. Quiet now. 